hello guys welcome back to my channel this is shades of my day we've been gone for a while but we are back again i've been kind of very busy so we are back here again so today we'll be doing something so different from what we've been doing so far we'll be designing uh, an hair salon flyer so let me get right straight to it so i'll be dropping the tutorial file plus the psd file in the link below like i usually do so everything will be free so i will just this will be also this will also be a very short video i'll be trying i'll be explaining how i got every part how i did everything and i'll be dropping all the designs and everything in the in the uh, in the link below so let's start so let us create the a new layer first a new page so what i did was to you can on your keyboard you can press um control and on your keyboard to create new so i use 1080 by 1350 you know rgb for uh for pasting online for posting online rather rgb for posting online then cmyk for printing so rgb is for posting and cmyk is for is for printing so let us click ok my resolution is, is, is 300 let's click ok so what i did was to bring in this is the background let me go to the background this is the background let us try and control c and you can now paste it here control v so you can even expand you can do any you can use any size though if you want to but i decided to use this but i'm dropping all the files that i used below i'm dropping them so, so this is how i got this image i downloaded this this png image online you can see this png image is online so i did camera raw filter i i i, I let the camera raw filter to it so you can click like this you will see the camera raw settings there you can see i did contrast as 55 texture at 32 clarity at 25 i click ok now if you if you don't know how to do camera raw you can just um on your key on your keyboard just press ctrl shift a on your keyboard it will bring you to camera raw immediately as you can see ctrl shift a then press cancel so i had to blend this image with the background so what i did was i created a um a mask here i created a mask I, by clicking this by clicking this one here it marks then i press b on my keyboard then with my foreground color set to black i brush i gently brushed out this air side just to, uh, to just make it blend and for this also sorry this is an this is an overlay this is an let me let me close the overlay first this this uh, ribbon you are seeing here is downloaded so it's actually a gold let me remove it for you let me show you you can see it's a good ribbon it's a good ribbon so i just converted it to uh, what do you call it i converted it to to uh, you i converted it to a uh, purple and uh, purple and red using gradient tool now let me show you what i use here as a gradient tool i used let me show you here okay for this one at zero degree i use zero 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 which is the black for midpoint which is 50 i used e500 hd and for position of 100 percent i use ff 070 b so i decided to use all the gradients for every layer here as you can see this, this style is linear gradient gradient the same gradient then style is linear angle 22 scale 150 so you can decide to play around it so i did the same for all this now for this this ribbon here i added a motion blur effect to it at angle 90 18 now you can if if you don't know how to use use motion blur sorry you don't know how to use motion blur come to filter blur motion blur so you can see it here motion blur or if you want to add Gaussian blur also to you can come to filter blur Gaussian blur you can see it here let's press cancel so that was how i got all this image all, all these um ribbon designs 
so I had to play around it. If you notice here, I used I used um, the same font for all my designs to look to make it look very simple and and um, easily read uh, easily readable. So for the font here, I use my my favorite font, Montserrat Bold. Then for this font, I had to do I had, I had to do research on it, so I, I used um, Coco Bold, Coco Bold. Then I added the same um, gradient uh, file to it, same gradient uh, overlay to it. Then for this star too, it is also downloaded. You can see it's movable. I added the same stuff to it. Then this one too is Montserrat. You can see Montserrat board as usual. Then you can create shape. You can create the shape. You can see it. You can create this, this shape. And you can add your gradient overlay to it. So just make everything blend and look okay. Now for this, this is where the work is now. But it's, it's very simple though. I grouped everything. You can see everything here is, is already grouped. Now what I did here was I created a, re a rectangle. You can see. This here, let, me, let, me do some, let me do it for you here quickly so let's come to you come to okay let me come to my downloads downloads so let me just create a shape here right click here come to rectangle i'm oh, sorry control z control z create this now you can create this you can change the color if you want v to move now you can drag this here so i can decide to add my drop shadow to it oh okay before that let's let's add stroke to it stroke size nine size nine then let's add drop shadow to it too to make it look look kind of playful can see can you see drop shadow click ok now what you do next is drag in your your image okay, let me drag this this image in drag in your image like this drag it like this on your keyboard press on shift to make it um, align click enter right click and create clipping mask you can see so it's very simple so you can decide to move it any way you want to you can move it anywhere you want to so i decided to, to do mine this way to make it look unique so i'll be dropping the file in the, in the link below as i said earlier so you can download it too you can use any other image you want to use you can change the informations here now for this one too i use circle let me show you circle here i can on shift out to make it look um to make it look um to make it align together i would click on um shift then gently drag so it will form a perfect circle then you come to your file here sorry file right click gradient overlay you can see since i used it before it will come up automatically click ok sorry then v to move so this is how i got this so you can decide to do it and i want to do it so it's it's very very simple so finally i added color lookup to it so it's it you come to your adjustment layers here you click on color lookup so i used 3d and uh, three story three stripe dot look to um three stripe lookup <laughs> what am i saying Seth? yeah Three stripe color look up here. Yeah. Three stripe. I clicked on this, so it gave me a deeper feel of of my design. So let us delete the first one. Delete. So to make it look kind of simple. So that was how I got the design. Please subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos. Thank you.